What is up, guys? We're gonna be reacting to Tyson Wilton, Triple Ending, Jesse Ferguson. Check out his. Okay, videos. I'm gonna so here, let's just, let's just get started. Welcome back to the Big Fight Recap here on BLTV Classic. On today's video, we take a look at Mike Tyson's highly anticipated bout against fellow rising heavyweight Jesse, the Boogeyman Ferguson, in 1986. Jesse Ferguson comes into this fight and his record looks like a who's who of the heavyweight division. Ferguson was the first world-level opponent Tyson faced in his career. So he had to pull out every trick and drill he had practiced with Customato and Kevin Rooney to break his man down. I'm guessing this video was old. Uh, I'm guessing this fight was during the start of Tyson's career. Customato was training Tyson in 85. Customato died in 85. Number 85. An intriguing matchup that threatened to. I didn't even realize how quick Tyson was going to fight to to derail Mike Tyson's surging hype train, let's take a look. Even as far back as the amateur days, Tyson was fixated on executing strategies and drills set in place by Customato. I use it to my advantage because I move my head very quick and I'm low to the ground and it's very difficult to hit me. Tyson's height detriment led the team to focus on mastering the peak kaboo technique, a bob and weave style that is proven Why does he look like he is in his mid 20s to be most effective at limiting the physical competitive advantage well the purpose of the slip bag is to get the fighter moving his head to get him in the habit of moving his head correctly you have to try to be elusive see as long as the fighter is trying to be elusive you're going to be all right that's what i emphasize that's what that's what the that's what we try to that's what we got over everybody else at six foot two jesse ferguson wasn't among the behemoths of the division Still, he boxed tall in the sense of using his height well, clinching and tying fighters up, and as his record of 10 KOs in his first 14 fights suggests, he carried respectable power also. Yes, this, this, I think this is where he holds, like, yeah, that's Holmes. I, I know it's, it was, it was East Trunks, and when Holmes got old, he had that hair. Hand by Ferguson, and Holmes is rocked. He's about ready to go. Ferguson turning it on. Ferguson was hot on the heavyweight radar after winning ESPN's heavyweight tournament in 1985, where, ironically, an 18-year-old Michael Gerard Tyson made his professional debut in the penultimate bout before Ferguson's crowning moment. Those things, you don't go, just go to their body or just use jabs. You have to fight to survive. The narrative for a future fight was there from the very start. And just under a year later, in February 1986, the two met in a packed... I thought it was a new fight. ...out University Sports Institute in... I see why they saw... Hold on, what? Who, who did they think that Jesse Ferguson was? This means 17, 17, 12 in their first. We even signed that fight. Albany, New York, where a large group of fans generated the first legendary atmosphere of Mike Tyson's career. And it has been kind to Mike Tyson. Here we go. He is a fast starter. One thing we should mention, Jimmy, before the action, he's up too much as the 16 foot range. Then have some of Tyson's skills. Now, even in the amateurs, Mike Tyson can throw great body shots. That was over. Ferguson proved tougher than Tyson's previous 17 opponents in the opening four rounds, absorbing waves of attacks that seemed to unnerve Tyson slightly as the two ended the fourth with a push and a shove. Tyson came out with a vicious intent in the fifth, closing the gap and landing powerful combinations to both the head and the body. Rivera almost stopped it there. Mike Tyson's known as a great finisher. Let's see how he does with Ferguson. Was in trouble in both the first and fifth rounds, and now he's in trouble here. Blood coming out from the nose of Jesse Ferguson. The right uppercut of Tyson has put him down. The string goes to 18 and 0. And you saw the explosive punching power, which has made him the talk of the heavyweight division.
Tyson explained in his post-fight interview how he feels his power will always be the deciding factor regardless of the skill set his future opponents bring. And the way they they have it planned in their mind to beat me is to jab, hot shop, and grab me. But it's 10 rounds, and eventually I'm going to catch them. Did you approach this fight with a little bit more respect for Ferguson physically, the left hook, than you might have brought into your previous bouts? Not at all. I was just oh, look a little... Look this, where I paused it. Look at Mike Tyson's face. He wanted Larry, because of the lack of experience, but I was surely com comfortable when the fight was over. When I came out the ring, I was going to be the winner. Okay, Alex, we saw once again a sensational performance by Mike Tyson. Breaking Jesse Ferguson's nose, what do you have to ask the young man? Well, I'm just impressed, Michael, that you, you don't appear winded at all, that you appear to keep your poise, you paced yourself, and you showed that uh, those critics who say, A, that you may have chin problems, and B, you may have stamina problems, uh, you answered those critics to an extent today against a quality opponent. Well, um... I'll pause it here, but... I only see this photo one. Like, tight. Uh, that looks pretty scary, bro. If that, if that was looking at me in my corner, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm signing a death waiver. Fight on Mike Tyson. Only thing, I can't change any opinions. I just have to continue fighting and have to change the opinions on myself. After seeing this performance, perhaps they still have doubt. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, next time I'm gonna react to probably um art and martial artists. Watch this video because he's he's also pretty good. Go subscribe to um Real TV Classics. He's very good at videos. So yeah.